So in December 1921 and January 1922, the Dáil debated the Anglo-Irish Treaty. Let's have a little chat about what the media and public bodies thought of this. In Ireland, not one single daily newspaper supported Eamon de Valera. In America, the New York Times came out with this about Eamon de Valera. Apparently he essayed a Napoleonic or Cromwellian stroke in resigning. At the same time that he demanded re-election with all power placed in his hands, but when this failed, he talked and acted like a hysterical schoolgirl. Whatever happens in Ireland, de Valera seems to have hopelessly discredited himself as a leader. Narrow, obstinate, visionary and obviously vain, he has now in his representative capacity wrought immense harm to the Ireland of his professed entire devotion. So let's talk like statutory public bodies like county councils, rural councils, urban councils, 328 public bodies in Ireland came out in favour of the treaty and five came out against it. It's an interesting thing to look at while these treaty debates were going on to see what was actually going on in the media 